like a uh, sling, slingshot enthusiast. Um, I bought this um, wrist rocket from Walmart. It's a daisy, um, seven dollars. Uh, and you can get it right now. You can get him anywhere, any Walmart. Well, it's just a little daisy wrist rocket. But I wanted to show that uh, these slingshots can be just as accurate as any slingshot that you make yourself or that you buy. Um, the problem with these is that that they're, when they when they make these, they make them too powerful and. Uh, for the ammo that they recommend. So when you shoot these kind of slingshots, uh, most of the time you're you're giving yourself um, elbow problems or arm arm pain issues uh, because you're trying to shoot three eighths balls or marbles that they recommend, and with something this powerful. You really need to shoot something like this, at least this size, which is a half inch ball bearing. There's the relative size. A half inch ball bearing can handle these bands. They're not super powerful bands, but they're way too powerful for this size of ammo. And so I'm gonna show you real quick on a couple shots um, that you can shoot the way they recommend, and just a just a slingshot you buy from from a sporting goods store, just as accurately accurately as you can, you know, some of the other stuff that you've seen me shoot before. Uh, I've got a couple cans downrange. Uh, they're only about they're only about 10 yards away, which is typical. Typical. Uh, I haven't shot this yet, so uh, that's typical. You know, distance uh, initially when you start shooting a slingshot is about 10. If you can be be accurate at 10 yards, you're doing good. So anyway, let's try it out. And it's just it's it's the way they recommend you shoot it. You just put your hand around it, just like it's just like this. I normally shoot like that. But I'll just shoot this the way they recommend, uh, like that, and use this brace here, and and see if we can get just as much accuracy by shooting this larger ammo out of this slingshot. Now the problem for you that that have children, uh, it's a little hard to pull back. That's why it's really not really a child's slingshot at all, because it's got it's got some resistance pulling it back, and and when you let it go right, it's gonna. It, it, it really is going to put a wallop on whatever you hit. So let's let's start with that one in the middle and uh, see if we can hit something with this commercial slingshot stiff pouch right out of the right out of the package there. And like anything else, if you practice with it a while, you'll get more accurate. But generally, uh, something that distance with my regular slingshots, I would probably never miss. Uh, but uh, if I practice with this a little bit, it's just basically just as accurate. It's just a slingshot's a slingshot. Uh, it's just a matter of the strength of the rubber versus the size of the ammo that makes the biggest difference. Try a couple more. This is a hammer grip. This is not my shooting style at all, but I mean, if you can shoot, you can shoot. So this is I'm just doing this because this is they have some grooves right there. This is what they recommend. Let's see if I can hit that other one square enough to knock it off.
And as you can tell, it, it packs a wallop with that size of ammo. I'll try one more shot. On that one to the left. And uh, this can be, I mean, it's, it's seven bucks and can do everything that any slingshot that's made real carefully or that costs a lot of money can do. Anyway, I just wanted to show uh, some of you that have watched my videos a little bit and some friends that you can just buy one of these and actually get started shooting. Just uh, the investment a little bit is just getting larger, heavier ammo uh, to start shooting with. If I shot with this little ammo, I'd be having pain here in about after about the fifth shot because it just it just overwhelms the ammo and it gives a jolt to the arm and uh, it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work out. And uh, but that's that's the ammo they sell to, to go with this. But just get this is a half inch or bigger, or you can get this in lead, and and it's just a way to get started shooting slingshot. Hope you enjoyed the video and y'all have a great evening.